So bath bombs are one of our most popular products. People seem to love the bright colours and the selection of scents that we offer. And today we're going to be showing you how we make our most popular Pink Fizz and Pomelo bath bomb. and welcome back to our channel. My name's Anne and along with my business partner Wayne we run the Sussex Handmade Soap Company which is a small handmade bath and body business down in Battle in East Sussex. Now before we get to today's video there's a couple of things I just want to quickly cover. I'm not going to talk for too long because I know you guys want to see them making. You don't want to see me waffling on but there's a couple of points on our channel I just want to address. The first is, you might have noticed over the last few days, we've been uploading a lot more videos than usual. The reason for that is that I have set myself a personal challenge to see if we can add a video a day for 30 days. So it's only gonna last 30 days, unless we really, really enjoy it and have the time. Um, but I just wanted to see if that was possible, because I thought it'd be quite a fun thing to do, and I'm really enjoying doing the videos at the moment as well. The second thing, you may notice that we have now enabled the super thanks button on our channel, so if you look down just above the description you'll see the little heart icon where it says thanks and that is a button that enables you guys to donate to our channel if you want to and if our videos have been helpful to you. Um, the reason we have enabled that is because we do want to actually start creating more videos even after the 30 day challenge is up I still want to upload more videos than we have done in the past. Um, but for that, the videos do take us a lot of time to do, and we do spend a lot of money on things like ingredients um, that we then use, and then we can't necessarily sell those products on because they're not necessarily conforming to our assessments. So it does cost us a fair bit of money, um, which is why we have enabled the Super Thanks button, and if our videos help you and you like what you see and you enjoy our channel and you can afford to, and you want to, then please do feel free to donate and it will be gratefully received and it will just go towards funding our channel. For example, at the moment, we are hoping to buy some more bath bomb moulds from Kada Moulds. They are expensive. We can't really justify purchasing loads of them. So it's things like that that any donations go towards supporting. So it does all get fed back into this channel. Right. Housekeeping over, let's move on to today. We are making Pink Fizz and Pomelo bath bombs. We are using a fragrance oil from Candle Shack. These bath bombs are really popular at our fairs and events. They are a beautiful orange and pink colour. Um, they smell amazing and people are very drawn to these. They are definitely one of the top sellers that we do in terms of the bath bombs that we offer. Today, we are actually experimenting with not using the dehumidifier. Normally, we use our dehumidifier, but since we've moved house, we've actually realised that the dehumidifier is less essential. Where we used to live, we had to use it all the time. Where we are now, we've had a couple of successful batches where we haven't had to use it. So we're going to give it a go um, and see how those bath bombs come out. I'm crossing my fingers. The weather is fairly good, I think, today for making bath bombs, so we're hoping they're going to come out okay. The recipe is in the description. Um, if you've got any questions about the method or the process, feel free to leave a comment and we will do our best to reply to comments asking general questions about our process and what we use. I hope you enjoy today's video. So we've got everything set up for some bath bomb making today. We're going to be making our pink fizz and pomelo. So all of our ingredients are set out here. I have got some bicarbonate of soda and some cream of tartar in this mixing bowl here. We find the cream of tartar helps the bath bombs to firm up and harden. In here I've got our SCI powder, our palm free sodium cocoa isothionate powder, citric acid just here, we've got our orange dye here because we're going to go with the orange portion of the mix first and just here we've got our pink piss and pomelo fragrance oil from candle shack so hands all washed nice and clean first thing we're going to do is pop the bicarb and the cream of tartar into the stand mixer popping on the guard just so it doesn't all kind of blow up everywhere and the first thing I'm going to do is switch on the mixer and go in with our orange dye and water. So the catch on my mixer is broken, <laughs> so it comes on automatically, so I have to hold it off while I plug it in. Then as soon as I let go, it's going to start up. 
slowly going in with the orange water and dye. And I just allow it to blend a short while so the colour gets nicely incorporated. And the next thing I'm going to do is add in our fragrance oil and our grapeseed oil is also in here as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. So grapeseed and fragrance oil going into the mix. And I've just realized why it's not work mixing properly. I've been too used to doing sugar scrubs and body, body butters the last couple of days. We don't normally use a whisk attachment for our bath bombs. We use the paddle attachment. <laughs> so, just attaching the correct paddle attachment and it should mix better now. Goes to show that even when you've been doing things like this for absolutely ages, you can still have those daft moments where you make mistakes, but no harm done, so that's the main thing. So now that it's combined really nicely and mixed a lot better, now we've switched to the correct attachment and we're just going to add in the SCI powder now. SCI powder is so fine, so you really need to be wearing a respirator when you're using SCI. It does get airborne very quickly and it really can irritate your throat and your lungs, so wear a respirator. So important to protect your lungs and your throat and your body when you're doing things like this. So back onto the mixer now. We definitely need our guard now because the SCI is so fine, it's gonna get everywhere. Even with the guard on, it's still gonna blow up out of the bowl and you'll be able to see it getting airborne. I'm just going onto a low speed to incorporate and then when it's in a little bit, I will raise the speed up. Once it's fairly well mixed in, I can remove the guard. I don't normally, but I will today so you guys can see a little better what's going on. And I'm gonna turn it up in speed a bit too. And we do leave our SCI powder incorporating for a good five minutes. We find that we end up with much smoother bath bombs when we blend SCI powder for longer. We've now been mixing for about five minutes. It's nicely incorporated, so I'm going to add in our citric acid. Just pouring it in down through the guard. Not too quickly. And we're just going to allow it to mix together for a minute or two. That should do it. Now we're just going to decant the orange mix into this mixing bowl here. Now I'm just going to pop it to one side. I don't worry about covering it or anything like that. Just pop it to one side and onto the pink portion. Going in with our bicarb and our cream of tartar. And I don't bother cleaning the paddle off when I'm doing different colours that are in the same bath bomb. If it was two different bath bombs, I'd wash this all down, but it's the same bath bomb and those little remnants of orange are not going to make any difference to the hot pink portion of the mix. So turning on to my low setting. And then pouring in our hot pink dye, which has been mixed with our water. We mix in the dyes really well because they can go a little bit clumpy. Turning up the speed so we incorporate nicely. And adding in this beautiful pink fizz and pomelo fragrance oil. And the grapeseed oil as well. 
I always forget about the grapeseed oil, but it is in there. <laughs> And I absolutely love this hot pink colour that we get when making these bath bombs. It is so vibrant. We purchased our dyes from So Posh and they've just released some neons actually and I so want to try them. I'm going to have to try them I think. They look so amazing. <laughs> so now we're going in with our SCI powder. And we use SCI powder because we can purchase palm-free SCI. We would like to use SLSA if it was possible, but we're a palm-free company and we just cannot source palm-free SLSA. If you're not so worried about being palm-free, then absolutely try SLSA if you wish to. And there is that gorgeous pink again. And last, but definitely not least, we are going in with our citric acid. And we're just going to take off the bowl. We will decant it in a minute, but for now we're going to move the mixer out of the way. We're going to bring back in the orange portion. And before I start making the bombs, I like to give the mixes both just a quick feel with my hands. This is why I don't wear gloves. Um, people do sometimes ask me why I don't wear gloves when I'm making the bath bombs, because it wrecks my nails. Hands are obviously nicely washed, thoroughly cleaned before starting and during the making as well. But I don't wear gloves because I like to be able to feel the consistency of the mix. Bath bombs are so tactile um, and I need to be able to feel that it feels right, which to us is when it feels like kinetic sand. And I cannot get that feeling through gloves, so that is why I don't tend to wear gloves when I am making the bath bombs. So decanting our pink portion now into the mixing bowl, I just find it easier to work with the mix when it is out of that bowl and in a bowl with a larger rim. The mix today does feel slightly on the wet side, it should be okay, but slightly wet. We are experimenting with not using our dehumidifier, which worked really well the other day. They came out really nicely, really happy. Then we tried it another time and they very slightly activated, so it really is temperature dependent. I thought the weather today was going to be okay for doing this, but hmm, we're slightly on the damp side so we might end up with a slightly lumpier mix. We should be okay though, I think, I hope. <laughs> Now we're going to make our first bath bomb. I'm using the mould from, is it Kada, Kada, Kada? I think I'm going to say Kada moulds. Really good moulds for using for bath bombs. Our bath bombs come out a lot better when we're using these moulds. And in fact, it was these moulds that made the difference between us making successful bath bombs and not making successful bath bombs. I'm just taking handfuls now of each colour in turn. and just filling up the mould. And because bath bombs are a single use product here in the UK, they don't require a weight on the label, which means I can just use my regular scales, rather than trade approved ones, which is much easier, because these little portable scales are so much easier for filming with than the big bulky trade approved ones. So just scooping up the mix, I go for about 170 grams of mix per bath bomb. That gives us a nice bath bomb that still floats but is nice um, and compact. Gently patting the top and then placing on the top part of the mould and we give it a good old squeeze. <laughs> nice and firm. And 
and then the excess just gets brushed off into my bowl here, just out of shot. There we go. So just running my thumb along the edge to remove the excess. And to remove the bomb, we just take a spoon and we just tap around the edges of the mould a few times. And this helps it to release easier. And there we have our first Pink Fizz and Pomelo bath bomb. So orange, then pink, and so on. <laughs> because this bath bomb is meant to be kind of a little bit haphazard with no particular pattern, I can just put the mix in wherever it falls. I don't need to worry about being very precise, which is good. I like these bath bombs that are kind of more haphazard. We've got ones that are not so haphazard and they're a little bit more of a pain to do because I have to be more specific when filling the mold. This one I just kind of chuck it all in. Pressing down gently on the top. We don't want to squash it down too much so they're just a gentle cup with the hand. <laughs> Look going on, squeezing down. Back and forth a couple of times and then brush off the excess just with my thumb. Tapping around the mould with the spoon and the same on the other side. And then we have another Pink Fizz bath bomb. So I'm just going to make one more on camera now. And I'm really happy actually with how they're turning out. I was ever so slightly concerned as to whether the mix would be too wet, but the orange portion now is absolutely fine because we made that first, so it has had a chance to dry out a little bit. And the pink is ever so slightly on the damp side, but it's certainly not causing me any major problems here today. And I do enjoy making our bath bombs. Sometimes when we get a big order in for them, it can seem like you know, there's a lot of work ahead of us because they do take time, but actually when I just get a chance to make them for fun like I am today and there's no time pressure, I really enjoy making them. I'm very drawn to the bright colours myself and I really want to try out some of Kada's other moulds as well. They do other shapes and designs and although we probably wouldn't necessarily sell them, I really want to have a go with some of their other moulds because they do such fun designs. The only issue is they are based in America, so it does take a little bit of time and a little bit of money to get the moulds over here. But that is definitely something I've added to my want list. <laughs> there we go. One more bath bomb. So the bath bombs have been drying now for 24 hours and I'm very pleased to report there is no obvious activation there. They're looking nice and smooth. I am more than happy to sell these. Hopefully we may sell some this weekend. We have got two fairs this weekend, a four day one and a three day one. It's a bank holiday weekend so we will be out selling hopefully rather than relaxing and enjoying it with friends and family, but hopefully you guys have got a freer weekend planned. If the fair goes well, then um, it should be quite enjoyable, but if it's slow, it won't be so enjoyable. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and have enjoyed seeing how we make our bath bombs. If you have, please do give us a like, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and we will see you next time for soap making, I think we've got planned for next time. But it could be something else. Everything could change. See you then. Bye.